The most famous reindeer of all Charles. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer Had a very shy Without further- oh my gosh I've literally filmed this intro five times Okay Hey everyone, welcome, welcome back to my channel and hi if you're new and happy vlogmas Today's video is going to be a gift guide for book lovers. I hope you guys enjoy and let's get straight on to the video. Okay, this is future me editing this video, but I do want to mention that everything that I've shared in this video, I have found links to it on Amazon and it's linked in my description box down below if you want to check any of those out. I also want to say that you can find these items kind of anywhere. You can probably find them at like a bookstore, Target, TJ Maxx so just remember that when I'm like mentioning these videos but if you want like a direct link to something Amazon in the description box down below idea number one is a book club candle who doesn't love candles especially when it's book related and book club is a super popular company and especially when it comes to like book lovers they love book club candles I don't know how many times I've said that in the last like 30 seconds but yeah, number two, a tote bag. Um, chances are if your friend or significant other or whoever in your life likes books, they love to read and they love to read in different locations, at a coffee shop, on the beach, at a park, and they need to travel with these books. Where do they put them? A tote bag. So <laughs> there's so many cute ones. You can honestly find them kind of everywhere. I know Etsy and Amazon a really great place to shop for. Number three, bookmarks. I cannot tell you how many people I know who have like a literal library of books in their room, but no bookmarks. They literally use like a sticky note or like a little scrap piece of paper or like I even have a friend who used to use a receipt as a bookmark. So go on Amazon, find a bookmark. You can literally get them for like five bucks and you can have like a 10 pack and give it to them. It's a really fun gift. You can never have too many bookmarks. Next gift is a book light. I have a really busy schedule and I don't always get time to read during the day and I read a lot at night and it's honestly kind of straining for my eyes. So having a book light is super, super helpful and beneficial. Next is a Kindle. I know this is kind of on the pricier side, but a Kindle is a really great gift. I'll warn you when you search for it, but it is going to be on the pricier side and not everyone loves reading on a device or electronic so just be careful and take them into consideration when you think of that you can read books on a device you can literally bring anywhere it's often also a lot cheaper you can save a lot of money instead of just buying the paperbacks so if your person doesn't mind reading on electronic a kindle would be a really good investment for them also going along with that a kindle case to protect the Kindle. Next is blue light glasses. This is again also something for a Kindle. Um, this is also just something is blue light glasses. Now this is also really good for people who like Kindles or who read on their electronic, but it's also good for like an everyday person because everybody uses their phone and they're probably getting eye strain. So having blue light glasses that help protect their eyes is a really great gift. I have a pair and I love it. My next idea is a book holder. Now, I don't know about you guys, but whenever I'm like reading in bed, my hand starts to like cramp from holding the book. So having something that like holds it for you and all you have to do is just flip the pages, it's really, really convenient. So book holder is a yes in my book. Also kind of going along with the book holder is a thumb bookmark. And you're probably like, what the heck's that? Basically, it's exactly what it sounds like. I'm gonna try to describe it the best way I can. You basically hold your book like this, and it's a little like piece of like wood or plastic, whatever, and you put your thumb in it, and it holds down the pages so you're not like straining your hand. And it sounds kind of weird. I'm also really bad at explaining things, but I desperately need to get one because I feel like that would solve a lot of my problems. Next is a book journal. And basically what a book journal is, you, you write in your journal like everything about the book. What did you rate it? What did you like about it? What genre was it? Blah, 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 blah. So you have something to look back on it. I know a lot of people use Goodreads, but actually like something about having like a physical copy in your hand just makes it a lot 
better. Next idea is a blanket. If you're anything like me, when you read, you like to be comfy. You like to curl up on the couch or in the bed or in like a beanbag chair, which is what I'm on right now. And you like to get all comfy and cozy. And a blanket is really nice. It's also a simple gift. It's also a practical gift. And there's so many fun, cute ones. There's also super fuzzy ones. You can find these on Amazon. You can also kind of find these anywhere. Um, you can literally go to TJ Maxx and get them or Target. Or if you want to go a little bit more personalized, I'm sure you can find some really good ones on Etsy that are really customizable. Overall, a blanket is just like a such like a practical gift. Is jewelry. If you search on Amazon or Etsy, you can find tons of jewelry book related and it's literally so amazing the one thing about jewelry i feel like is it's so sentimental like anybody who buys me jewelry i would literally keep it forever because it just feels so sentimental and so personal and i think it's like a very creative and fun gift going and handpicking a jewelry piece that reminds you of that person speaks a lot of volume next these two kind of go together but they're different is something to annotate their books now some people like to annotate their books with like flags or markers if you decide to do the annotating flags highly recommend amazon you can get them like seven bucks for like 800 flags and that's a pretty good deal if you decide to go with markers i recommend the model Diners brand they are a little bit more on the pricier side um you can probably find like a smaller pack for like 15 bucks but they just work so well in books because the paper of the books are just so fragile. The markers will bleed through them. The mild liners won't do that or damage, like, you know, bleed through books. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you guys have any video suggestions of other Vlogmas video ideas, feel free to let me know down below because I'm always looking for new ideas. I love y'all and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!